Hello everyone, welcome to uh, this video on uh, 40 Manager 4.3.3. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Add Device Wizard and uh, how to add devices into your ADOM. So let's get started. Uh, I'll log in with the uh, Global Administrator here. I've already uh, pre-made um, a brand new ADOM here called Test. So we'll uh, enter into that ADOM. Okay, so I'll just show you the policy and objects section so you can see that uh, it's a brand new uh, ADOM here. We just have the default policy package. It's all empty right now. Um, here's the zones, firewall objects uh, are all the, all the defaults right now. Just default addresses, address groups are all all empty right now. So. Okay, so we'll go back to the device manager, and uh, there are a couple ways to add a device into your ADOM. So you can either click the button here up on the left, or you can right click on the table and use the add uh, context menu and you can add a device. So you see those two options here. One is for adding a virtual domain. Uh, you can add a virtual domain when you're clicking on a, on a device. Uh, for now we're, we're just going to add a device. So there's a couple options on this uh, wizard when you first get started. Uh, you can either discover the device or you can add by model. Uh, if you add by model, you just enter in uh, some of the information and the type of model and such. Um, but you won't be able to pull any configuration from the device until later. Uh, Discover is very handy if you have a 40 gate device already set up. And then you can just uh, pull the uh, information right away. Uh, there's also another option here to import uh, the device. So this will allow you to import uh, any policies and objects off of that new FortiGate that you're adding to the Forty Manager. So let's get started here. We'll add in uh, a FortiGate that's running on the network here. through the discovery phase and try to find the device and collect some information. And uh, so we found this uh, 4.3 device, gives a serial number, what mode it's in. And we'll click next to continue to add this device. So you can choose at this time to change its name, give it a description. Uh, you can add it to device groups if you have any device groups already defined over here. Uh, you can also enter in other extra information about this device if you like. Uh, if it's a customer's um, device or uh, different administrators are administering different devices, you can add some extra information, where it's located, and so forth. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave this empty. And so now we're going to add our device in. So it'll go through these different phases here. If there's any problems, it'll signal it with uh, an icon here and let you know what's what's happening. Takes a little time to to pull the configuration in and set everything up the first time. Okay, so you'll see here that our device is successfully created. So we can click next now. Now this device has uh, VDOMs on it, so 
we can uh, choose at this point to um, import import any or all of these VDOMs. Um, we also have another option here to kind of fast forward through a lot of the steps of adding a VDOM. Uh, for the first one, we'll, we'll go through step by step to show you what happens. So basically, when it goes through, it's going to take you to the zone mapping, so you can map uh, zones to the appropriate um, interfaces. Uh, they can do the policy import and object importing, and perform the actual import, and then it'll come back to the zone mapping again. So let's uh, let's get started here. We also have uh, another option. You can skip any remaining. Uh, you can skip the remaining. VDOMs if you don't want to do them all. So click next. So this VDOM didn't have any extra interfaces, but we also have an option here to map any unused interfaces. So like all the standard ones like internal, external, DMZ, port 1, port 2, port 3, a lot of those will be uh, added to the zone mapping for you. Next. Uh, there's no policies in this VDOM. So we'll click next and it'll go back to the to the next VDOM again. So let's try it again with this VDOM. Okay, so we have one one new zone here. It's going to map. It's a brand new one. And this one has a couple policies in it. You can choose um, to import only some of the policies or all of them at one time. Uh, if you hover over a policy here, you can see some more information about that specific policy. So let's go, we'll just import them all. And this is going to search for any objects that are needed. And so these will be the new objects it's going to import. These were default objects that were already in the 40 manager, so it's going to uh, use those as well. So it's performing the import and it's creating our policy package. next and this will take us back to the VDOM page again. So that's, that's the basics of adding a VDOM. It goes through all those steps and then it comes back for each one. You can also click this and it'll fast forward through these ones. I'll show you that for VDOM 2. Zone mapping. It'll automatically go to the next step. <coughs> the import and back to our VDOM page again. So this point I'm going to skip the remaining VDOMs and it'll take us to the summary page here. So it'll just give you a bit of information. You can also download the import uh, report that has a little bit more information in now uh, about what happened with each uh, VDOM and each import. And then you click finish, and you will see your new device added to the list. Also underneath, you'll see uh, all the VDOMs that are available. Not all of them have been imported, of course, all the policies and such. But um, you can, uh, if you want to import one of those VDOMs at a later point, you can right-click on the VDOM and click Import Policy. It will bring up uh, a, a simplified import wizard here. This will allow you to do any further port mappings if you want to change port mappings and so forth. So we can cancel for that for now. Let's go take a look at our policies and objects. So you see for those two, those two VDOMs that I imported, it's made two brand new policy packages for each VDOM. Here's all the policies that have been added. 
if you look in the objects, we'll see all the new zones that have been created. Uh, any new addresses that have been imported. No address groups. Sometimes we have some custom services that are imported and so forth. And that's about it for adding a new device into your ADOM. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.